So this is a case of a 48-year-old male, basically presented with one week of pain in the right Achilles tendon. He stepped off a pallet in an awkward fashion and afterwards felt pain in the right Achilles tendon. Ultrasound did show a very large calcific deposit in the distal Achilles tendon with some tendinosis in the distal Achilles tendon as well. During the initial visit, I essentially just needled that calcific deposit and injected it with saline and lidocaine. Couldn't really get any calcium back as we did try to aspirate it initially. This procedure, however, provided fairly immediate relief for the patient. He came back a week later and was very happy, and on subsequent follow-ups, he was feeling much better as well. And here we are looking at this patient's Achilles tendon in a 3D model. It is somewhat thick distally, consistent with tendinosis. And now we're rotating laterally. Here's Kager's fat pad and an enlarged retrocalcaneal bursa. And now we're rotating the lower extremity into the position of the procedure. The needle is going to be going from proximal to distal in line with the fibers of the Achilles tendon and the probe is in a sagittal plane to the body. Also during this procedure, the probe is in an axial plane so we can get a medial and lateral perspective of where the needle is, but in this demonstration we only see the probe in a sagittal plane. Here we are injecting lidocaine superficial to the tendon in order to make this procedure comfortable for the patient. We try to avoid injecting lidocaine within the substance of the tendon itself, as lidocaine and similar type of drugs may inhibit fibroblast function. And now we're starting the needle fenestration, and we're essentially just going in and out of the tendon in line with the fibers, and also into and out of this calcific density to try to break it up. During the procedure, we actually injected saline and tried to aspirate some of the calcium, but we're unable to do so. Also, you can appreciate the enlarged retrocalcaneal bursa, which is labeled here. And now we're injecting saline within the calcific density itself as another means to try to break it up and help the body resorb it. Forty-eight-year-old male uh, basically just kind of walked off a pallet, a little bit of plantar flexion of his foot, just kind of skimming over the edge, and really the next morning felt pain uh, over here, just medial to the tibialis, the anterior tendon, and most of his pain's in the distal Achilles tendon. We're going to go ahead and do an ultrasound. Calcaneus on the um, left side of the screen, going proximal. You can actually see it looks like a fair amount of calcification actually in the distal Achilles tendon. Also does have retrocalcaneal bursitis. So here is that large calcific deposit within the distal Achilles tendon, which is where his pain really was. Also, uh, some retrocalcaneal bursitis as well. Here we are we're going proximally at 13:30. We got some of the uh, proximal Achilles tendon. We have the soleus muscle underneath that. So as you go proximal, the Achilles tendon looks fairly well preserved and normal. It is a little thick distal, consistent with tendinosis. Probably your flexor house is longest muscle just underneath that. Going from this from proximal to distal now, you can see the Achilles tendon coming into play. It does look thickened, a little hypoechoic type signal on it, consistent with tendinosis. Really nice view, it's just like a big calcium spot in that distal Achilles tendon. Uh, retrocalcaneal bursitis underneath that, and I think that's his main pain generator. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a, uh, some axial views. Laterals to the right of the screen, medials to the left. This is calcaneus. And we're going proximal, you can see that huge, just calcific area. And here you go again, just a very large calcific deposit. Could be a gouty type tophi, uh, but I don't believe any history of gout. And now we're just going back up proximally. And here's that retrocalcaneal bursitis right underneath. And otherwise, it's thickened as it gets distal, but otherwise the tendon does not look torn. I go down on the death here, and we're going from proximal to distal. And here you can see the soleus and the deep flexors of the leg. You can see the deep compartment under the soleus. All right, so here we are. We're going to try to drain this calcium deposit. How you doing? I'm doing good. All right. I kind of felt it when I went in with the needle. Here we are we're injecting a little bit of lidocaine around it. Okay. Felt a little pressure? No. 
left side of the screen is medial, right side is lateral. We get a little sense of where I am. And we can see that stuff basically right in the middle of it. Here I am just trying to break up this calcium deposit with the needle. Don't believe we really aspirated any calcium in this case. This is a case where I used a fair amount of lidocaine, otherwise I think you would have a hard time tolerating this procedure. Okay, so we injected most of it in. I'm going to try to get some back now. And we're not really getting anything back. And here we are, we're about to inject some saline. And again, a way to just break up this calcium deposit and let the body absorb it. And we are just breaking it apart now. You know, I don't want to be too aggressive here because this is an Achilles tendon. Also, we're using an 18 gauge needle, so you don't want to over fenestrate the Achilles tendon as you don't want to cause a tear. About a week ago, we um, irrigated a calcium deposit in this little Achilles tendon with some saline. Uh, tried to break it up a little bit with the needle. We didn't aspirate any calcium. I thought it was behaving almost like a calcific tendonitis that you see in the shoulder. Uh, he really was having a hard time walking on it before and limping uh, using crutches. And so, what's going on right now? Um, it's still tender. I can walk. The uh, what you did the uh, that last time here that helped enormously. That did um, help. Okay. I know you said you didn't uh, aspirate anything, but the next morning I was very little soreness. Okay. Um, like I still have to. I can walk somewhat normal today, which is my best day yet. Okay. But going up and down the stairs, I have to brace myself. Still pretty hard. Yeah. Okay. But the procedure you did, um, again, I didn't even have that much pain the next day.